Hey guys, it's your girl Chris Corio here and welcome to this episode of 876 Tutorial Tuesdays. This is another installation of Get Fit for Carnival Jamaica 2020. These are some tips that I like to use for myself and hopefully they can work for you. Okay, so this week I got a very special request for some glute isolation exercises. Now what are the glutes? Yeah, bam bam. Okay, so Today, I decided that since a lot of persons also want me to do a full body exercise program every week, I decided that today, since there were special requests for glute isolation, I would do a five exercise program and do three of them. Three of these exercises are going to be focused on the glutes and the other two are going to be upper extremity, but it won't be as intense as we are used to. So we're not going to be doing any push-ups today. We might be doing a bit of planks, uh, so less upper and a lot more lower extremity. So what do I have in my box? First and foremost, I have doubled up on my ankle weight. So I have a one and a half and a two and a half. So I have four pounds around my ankles. Um, I'm gonna put on the other one because remember every week I like to do this real time. So I prepare everything so that we don't go over, you know, going to an hour's worth of exercise when I really just want to keep it to 20, 30 minutes. So I like to make sure all my equipment are nearby. So if you are watching this, um, here's what I have. I have my ankle weights, four pounds. And of course, you're not going to be using again. I've said this in my other videos, but if it's your first time here, you aren't going to be using the set amount of weight that I'm using just because I'm using it. You're going to be using an amount of weight that you can lift for only 10 repetitions okay or in other words 10 times if you can lift beyond 10 then it means that you're probably lifting too too light if you're lift, if you're not able to lift 10 repetitions then it's probably too heavy okay so i'm putting on my ankle weights um these are specifically for when we're going to be doing the donkey kicks so this is for my hammer curls. So I have here are eight pound um, elastic tubes. And I also, noisy, noisy, I have 19 pound ankle tubes. Not ankle tubes, elastic tubes. All right, so putting, setting these out right here from now so that when I'm ready for them, I'll have them, okay? And I also have this TheraBand. Now, the TheraBand, I've said this in my previous video, but of course, if it's your first time here, darling, what you're going to do, if you do not have elastic tubes, this is resistance tubes, like what you see all those ladies on Instagram, put it around their legs whenever they go into their butt workout, it's a resistance tube. So I was just resourceful because I am a physiotherapy final year student and I like to collect all these physiotherapy tools. So this is a TheraBand. You can get this at any retail sports store western sports has them you can go to any physiotherapy clinic and they pretty much sell them at the front desk usually at the receptionist table um or you can order them online uh but it's a little less clumsy if you use resistance tubes but like i said i like to be resourceful this is what i have and so i'm using it for now until my resistance bands or loops are cleared from the mail so why do I have this box here? So I also wanted to show you guys that the little items, or there's a little fuzz, <laughs> little items around the house can actually be used to assist you with your exercises. So for example, if you're at a gym and you have a step box, you can use a step box, but I'm here. This is actually a magazine um, holder. I'm just gonna use it as my step box because I don't have any step box here. And it's a nice enough height. Uh, so that's what I'm gonna be using today. So the first exercise I'm going to be doing is my Bulgarian split squats, okay? And I'm going to be doing four sets of 10 of the Bulgarian split squats, followed by my plank step-ups. And I'm also going to be using this for my plank step-ups. You'll see them as I go along with them. Then I'm going to be doing donkey kickbacks, then hammer curls, and then the frog pump is how I'm going to end today's workout. So it's really short and spicy, four sets of 10 repetitions. If you aren't able to go all the way up to 10 repetitions, then keep it to eight repetitions. If you aren't able to do the eight, then keep it to five. Or simply lighten the weight and do it 
or instead of lightening the weight just do it with pure body weight so i do have another exercise program you can check my channel where i show you how to do different exercises with just your pure body weight because sometimes that's really all that we can manage and don't you don't you worry about it if you're starting out that is just that's the first step to greatness so don't you worry if you're not lifting as heavy as whosoever else focus on you pay attention to you inspire you <laughs> so bulgarian split squats these are actually quite excellent, particularly for ice roots. This is one of my favorite exercises. I was introduced to them by an expert trainer when I was doing bodybuilding. I, I, I say was doing because I've taken a break. I'm going to be getting back into it soon. God knows when, but I'm going to get back into it soon. So I'm going to step on the resistance tube. So like I said, if you don't have resistance tubes, what you can use is some dumbbells. All right, so if you have the dumbbells, you have them in your hands by your sides, you elevate the leg. Why am I elevating the leg? It intensifies the um, workout. You can actually start by doing this as a beginner with your on the floor without any elevation. But I like to elevate the leg in order to deepen my squat. All right, and you see what just happened a while ago? My shin hit on there, which is key or, or, or cue for me to step forward. You don't want the shin to be hitting on the step box that you're using. Okay, so I have my wall here and I test it out again, there. So the knee should be coming as close to the floor as possible without actually, you don't want to see, you don't want to touch it. All right, that's not the aim. Okay, so just as how I had done the resistance tubes with the squats, I'm gonna do the same thing with these. These are half squats. Split squats are the same thing as half squats. But these are Bulgarian, so thus the elevation. So here we go. 10, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. All right. So right away, I just switch the legs, switch them out, and one of the things too with the Bulgarian split squat is always finding that base behind you. I've done these in the gym with barbell across my shoulders, and trust me. Those are killer, especially when you're doing them for the first time and you have to search for that box behind you and that first descent with the barbell across your shoulders, yo, it's scary. <laughs> but what I find is that with resistance tubes, if you give yourself the proper intensity, it actually can give you quite a bit, quite a bit as much resistance as the barbell itself. Let me get back in before I talk myself to tiredness. One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ooh, <sighs> going right in. Oh, guys, this is tiring. So again, you don't need to start with the ankle weight around your ankles. I'm just doing this to be time efficient. Cause like I said, I want this video to finish in 30 minutes tops. Here we go. Remember to pull the belly button into the back of the spine and breathe out every time you make an effort. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, nine, ten. Oh. oh my God. You see that? Make sure the box is behind you. Sometimes with exhaustion, our depth perception tends to go off, just like what just happened to me a while ago. All right, this is the third set. Whew. One, two, three, four, five, 
six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Oh. Here we go. Fourth and final set, Bulgarian split squat. Holding on. Real time. Here we go. One, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, final four. This is tiring as hell. Whoa! Last set on the right side. Here we go. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. And of course, I have my trusty towel nearby. <sighs> Do a little pat down. You see there? My cava dance. No, sir. What a killer. All right, so the plank step ups now. <sighs> the plank step ups, quite literally, all you're going to be doing, you're bringing the hands up and out and up and out and each time you come back onto the step it's one count all right oh my lord and of course we're getting into a proper plank so the good thing or the 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 strong point about doing a plank is that it's a core workout yeah so you're not only engaging your abdominals you're also engaging your back muscles and so it's very important that you maintain a flat uh, torso or a flat body throughout. You may have a bit of curvature right down the lumbar spine where there's a natural lordotic lord lord curve and a tiredness. Tiredness makes me gibberish. <laughs> but you should, in a, in, a, in a good plank, have a nice flat uh, portion. Otherwise, you will develop a sense of imbalance with your core. Many persons neglect the fact that the back is also a part of the core. It really is. Okay, so you have to engage the two and keep each of them erect so you can maintain it flat. All right, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whew. Of course, the hardest part of that is maintaining a tight belly button to the back of the spine. All right, while you're doing it. Also, when you place your hands on either side of the step, you want to ensure that you get both hands flat on the floor. All right, really getting it flat on your palms, focusing the bulk of your weight through the bulkier part of your hand that can basically become that good base of support that you need to support you through your upper extremity and your upper back. All right? So pay attention to those key details. Here we go again. All right? One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, 
And of course, during the breaks, the little intervals that we have, it's very important that you take a sip, you focus on the breath out through the mouth, focus on big exhales from the pit of your stomach right up and out. Why? Because the body automatically breathes in. Yes, child. That's something I learned when I performed for several years. When you're on stage, you don't have the time to breathe in. You have to focus on the breath out. <laughs> yep. All right. Third set. Here we go. Extend those legs. Tuck the tummy in. Starting position. Woo. Make sure you don't slip. One. Two. Three. Push it away. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Ooh. Oh, that's crazy work. That's crazy work. And of course, if you feel like you can do way more, do way more. All right? Don't limit yourself based on just what the instructor is showing you. Or if you're in a class and you see that everybody goes to 10, no man. If you're going to only 10, or let me tell you, if it is a weightlifting class and everybody's going, can only manage to do 10, and you're going way beyond 10, it means you need to get a heavier weight. It means that little weight that you have, it's too light for you, man. Change it, right? <laughs> Intensify your workout. All right, and of course, the opposite is true. Is true. If you're not able to lift up to 10, your weight might be a little bit too heavy. All right, no shame in reducing that weight. So we have one more set of this. Here we go. Tuck the tummy in. Starting position, here we go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right. What do we have now? We have our donkey kickbacks. Okay, so I can get rid of my makeshift skip, makeshift step box, and I'm going to go into my donkey kickbacks. Now the marvelous thing about already having my four pound weight on is that I don't have to stop the video to do this, right? But I can catch a little sneaky break <laughs> in between because I am exercising in real time and I do need real break. Anyway, here we go. Four sets of 10 on each side. I'm gonna start with my left side. Here we go. And one thing you need to note, ladies or gentlemen, if you're doing this, you want to get a squeeze and hold at the top of this, this, right? So with every exercise, you want to maintain a mind to muscle connection. What muscle are you working? Right now it's a glute. So you need to think about it. Okay, when I extend my hip back, I should be feeling it in my glute. All right, so here we go. In three, two, one, and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch into the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And again. One, two, three, Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Other side, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Whoa! Fourth set, here we go, last one. One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm gonna hold on the last 10 
for five counts I'm going to pulse it nine ten pulse it one two three four five and take it down slowly same thing on this side ten normal pumps or donkey kickbacks on the last one we're going to pulse it five times here we go three two one one two three four five six seven eight nine ten pulse it one two three four five Ooh. and if you need to in between this exercise you can do a child's pose to briefly stretch out those glutes if you feel that it's really 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 cramped up you can't go on anymore you can sit a little bit longer than I've just sat so next upper extremity movement is gonna have us in standing we're doing some hammer curls with these elastic tubes, eight pound elastic tubes. So I'm standing here. Make sure you have a good grip. And you're just going to keep the elbows in. We're working the biceps, yeah? Here we go. Three, two, one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven eight nine ten man and we have three more sets of that all right in three two one there we go one two three four five six seven eight Yeah, that's crazy. And that's just the second set. Ah. Ah. <laughs> so we have two more sets of hammer curls. Ugh. All right, after hammer curls, we have frog pump. And after frog pump, I'm just gonna end with a crunch. I like ending with crunch, why it helps engage the abs. I love abs, it's kind of my thing. <laughs> so if you're looking for abs, Make sure you complete my ab workouts, all this, the ones that I've done at the end of my videos. If you check back in my channel, you'll see. But at the end of every workout, I like to do abdominals. If you are to take one single day, put all those abdominal exercises together, I'll just do them. So like one out of the three days of exercise days that you're supposed to have, yes, take that one day and do the abdominals and you should see some great uh, results. If you are a little bit overweight, ladies, or gentlemen you need to do a whole lot more cardio and I think for the next installation I'm going to do a cardio video specific for persons who want to lose weight all right so I'm gonna do that great thinking Christina here we go third set you see on my chat one two three five One more set. Three, two, and one. Here we go. One, two, three, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, that was four. So again, ladies, if you do not, I'm repeating this, if you do not, if you don't have, if you don't have elastic tubes, feel free to use dumbbells if you have those at home. Free, feel free to use a bottle of water on in each hand, same, same um, measurement or same weight, or use a bottle filled with sand, a bottle filled with water, or if you have ankle weights, use the ankle weights in your hand. I can't think of anything else right now that you could use, but yeah, that's pretty much it. So. I'm going to be doing what are known as, you see me almost broke my finger, <laughs> tiredness. So I'm going to do now what are known as the frog pump. I'm actually going to keep on my ankle weights just for anchorage. You, know, you can take yours off. I'm just really keeping mine on, as I said, to keep my feet down. 
you can do that if you need to, if you feel like you need to. I find that it feels a little bit, it's kind of nice to feel grounded and then at the end of the workout when you take it off, you feel light and nice. But the exercises that we're going to be doing now are not necessarily specific. You don't necessarily need them. So that's why I'm saying if you want to take them off, you can take them off. Feel free. All right, so here is my makeshift resistance loop. And again, ladies and gentlemen, if you don't have TheraBan, you can buy, purchase a resistance loop, or if you already have one, you use your resistance loop, okay? As I said before, I am a physical therapy student in my final year, and I like to collect all these little knickknacks that I know I'm going to be needing in the future, especially one that when I want to go home and practice my physiotherapy lessons. Anyway, somebody out there is saying, logic and chatty, on a gue. So anyway, the frog pump, really and truly what you're supposed to do, you want to keep your feet together. So it's like a diamond shaped position. So this resistance band is really tight, really intense. So hopefully I'll be able to do it with them on. And what you're going to be doing, it's a modification of the typical bridge where you're going to tuck the tailbone and lift, right? But you're keeping the legs open, externally rotated. Keep the belly button tight to the back of the spine and breathe out on the effort. Oh, my legs are trembling already. Here we go. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm gonna go straight through. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I'm going to stay here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. What I'm doing is I'm fluttering the legs. <clears throat> so I get that extra contraction in the glute cheeks. Whoa, that hurts. Right? So I've tucked my tailbone under. And all I'm doing now maintaining that diamond position and I'm externally rotating my legs against the resistance of the TheraBand which is excellent because I'm working the glute medius muscles which are the part of the glutes of course but it's like the sides of that glute family so when persons ask if you go to the gym if you can build hips I generally say uh, technically no but you can develop your glute med which is the muscle that is right here <laughs> But it doesn't go all the way down here. It's just like about right here, and it kind of goes across. <sighs> and if you're asking, yes, I'm gonna do that again, starting with the frog pumps. So 20 straight, and then I'm gonna stay up there and do the external rotation. Here we go. Um, some persons, so for example, if you're in a gym, a personal trainer might make it a little bit more difficult for you by putting either a barbell across here that you can lift like that, or they might just let you hold on to a dumbbell right here. Whatever it is that you do, please ensure, especially if you're a female, that you protect your uh, pelvic bones right here, right? Make sure you protect them because it can be a bitch. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll get black and blue, I'm talking from experience. So make sure you put some nice spongy uh, cushioning right across the bony area right here. And of course, you, you put on it, protect it, please. <laughs> here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Speeding it up. Fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen. 20 and open one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty whoa okay all right and now i'm really beginning to feel my ankle weights 
but I'm still not going to take them off just yet. Hope they're not too loose. As I said before, I'm going to finish with some crunches, just some basic crunches. 20 of them. Here we go. In three, two, one. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One more set. Three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, right away, I'm going to flip over onto my tummy and stretch out those abdominal core muscles, stretching back, pull the shoulders back from the air and breathe. Feel the stretch along the center of your tummy and relax into the stretch. From here, we're just going to push into a child's pose. Of course, for all of these poses, you can feel free. I am going to take off my ankle weights now because it's inhibiting my steps. So for all of these stretches, if you feel like you need to hold them for longer periods than I am holding them, feel free. Particularly when it comes down to stretches, you want to ensure that you elongate your body as much as possible. Why? Because this gives you a lot more range when you're getting ready to go and work out again. So many persons who after they finish working out, they don't stretch, they lose range of motion. And what do I mean by range of motion? If, for example, your range to bend your elbow is right up to here and you don't stretch, right? What could start happening is that you start bending to only about here. And so all the muscle fibers that you used to work out when you came all the way up here, it's lost now because you don't have that range to come up here, which is why it's very important that after you work out, you stretch. And on that note, Let's just continue with our child's pose. Stretching back. Upper back, lower back. Breathe. All right, stretching into that pigeon pose, the one I like so much. <laughs> nah, I'm kidding. It's one of the hardest, hardest stretches here modified version you bring one leg in and you just stretch over okay you should feel this stretch right along the sides of your hips all of that you put you just work out you want to breathe deeply into it and relax those muscles and as you breathe deeply feel the muscles relaxing with every deep breath you take in, you exhale and enjoy that stretch. And if you're not feeling any stretch happening, it means you need to back off of that stretch, relax into it a little bit more, and take your time. From here, I'm just going to do a hip flexor stretch, which is right along here. And here, it might be a little bit intense for some persons. It might be real easy for some, but really relax. If you feel that like you can, stretch down, relax into the stretch, nice and easy, and breathe. All right, so I'm gonna get into the other side doing that same pigeon pose and so I'm on this side so you get to get a little bit more vision or visual as to what it is that I'm doing I extend one leg so and extend one leg to the back modified version you come into a nice fourth position dancers pose all right extend the leg Ooh, there's a nice stretch here square the hips Ooh, a little challenging. Pull the belly button in and breathe out. 
Oh. Sometimes you may need to do some extra twists and turns just to get yourselves a little bit more comfortable, particularly if you don't do these stretches on a regular basis. And relax the head and just breathe. Breathe into that stretch. And with every breath, you feel yourself relaxing a little bit more. Inhale deeply and exhale deeply. Feel yourself, feel your shoulders relaxing, feel your chin falling across your knee. Relax your shoulders, relax your hips. And as you feel a stretch coming on, you can increase that stretch if you need to. If it's too intense, back off of that stretch. Remember where you're feeling the stretch is in the side of the thigh. And we're lifting here. We're going to stretch all the way back to stretch our hip flexors. Same as we did before. And for everybody, there's a side that is a little bit more flexible than the other side. Well, let me take up my... A uh, little sweat getting into my eye there. All right, from here you relax down. This is my tighter side. I feel it in my ankles as well. You want to breathe deeply and focus on stillness, inhaling and exhaling. Think about all the work you just did. Exhale and inhale. Perfect. And now you're gonna lift up. <laughs> My hair is a mess. Who cares, right? <laughs> I kind of do. So anyway, we're stretching out the biceps that we just did, you know, those hammer curls. So we're stretching the biceps. Just hold one hand and to your tolerance, stretch it forward, just like that. I am hyperextensive in my elbows, so don't be alarmed. Stretch until you feel these muscles stretching, getting a nice relaxing stretch there. Hold it for about 20 seconds to 30 seconds to a minute if you want to, if you feel that you need to. And try not to raise the shoulder, relax the shoulder from the air. All right, relax. Now we're going to lift one hand, put it over my big cloud of hair. <laughs> And what you want to do is to carry it to the back, just like so. Okay. And relax in that position. And change it. It takes quite a bit of degree of flexibility to do this. So if you find that you're not able to you find that you're up here, you're here, that's fine, just work into the stretch. The aim is not to be a gymnast at this point. Our aim is to look hot and sexy. So, but I mean the flexibility is good. So you have what, you have a couple months until March. I might drop a flexibility video as well because some persons have been asking me for that. So I have cardio video and I have a flexibility video to drop. All right, put your leg here. I'm stretching out the glutes again bring it in like a pretzel one two three four and stretch to the other side Okay, one, two. You should feel this in your glutes right here. All right. Now we get a nice hamstring stretch. Do we have enough space? Stretch one leg out. Mm -hmm. Pull it. Do you feel like you have it? Ah, oh, nice little crack there. Extend the hip. Whoa. Okay. Wow, that's crazy. 
my hamstrings are so tight. So your norm for your hamstrings might be just right here. It might be right here, that's fine. One of the things that you could also do if your hamstrings are tight is get somebody to help you to stretch. That actually kind of helps as well. And then you could help gauge the stretch. You should help to gauge the stretch. You don't allow the person to stretch you beyond um, repair, okay, <laughs> into this location. So that's actually very good. And it's very good to stretch after your workout. Extremely important. As I said before, All right, so as always, ooh, thank you for joining me on 876 Tutorial Tuesdays. I'm your girl, Chris Corio. Thanks for liking, subscribing, sharing my videos. Oh my God, I have over 13,000 subscribers to date. I have recently been able to monetize my YouTube page and it's all thanks to everybody that has taken the time out to follow my video, to share, to subscribe. I thank you so much. I have persons from Africa hailing me up. I have people from all the way around Japan, China and all of those far places, far from Jamaica. I just want to say big up to everybody, big up to the US, big up to the whole of the Caribbean, big up to Europe. I know you guys are watching and if I haven't called your country, Drop your flag below and say, Christina, yo, Chris Correa, why you never call out my flag name? So big up on yourself. Without you, again, none of this is possible. We keep building. Thank you for being a part of the 876 Tutorial Tuesdays family. It's going to do nothing but get bigger and better. And yo, your support is just phenomenal. Thank you so much. My heart full of thankfulness. So flexibility, cardio, and another whining tutorial. <laughs>